Having the most people that we possibly can have on the internet is a good thing because it gives us the fullest picture of humanity that we can possibly get. Access to the internet is a human right. It is absolutely fundamental that people have access. Connectedness will actually drive down poverty. It will open uh, information for everyone. Many people would be empowered. Businesses would come online. People would know their, uh, their rights. The access to internet means the access to human rights. I have more people with access to information. What it means is that you have more people with access to education. It's good for the economy as such. It's good for communication. It builds trust. It basically brings societies together. You have the opportunity to, to strengthen um, human rights and democracy by with internet access. There will be more voices, inclusivity and diversity of voices in media and in governance and in education, health and all those other sectors. It just means there will be a billion more informed, healthy, engaged and entertained people. In some ways it levels the playing field uh, for that next billion people. It's a, an even playing field for people to, to have a voice who have not previously been able to. It'll make us all much stronger participants in our democracies. That, that makes it highly indispensable for every human being. Economy as we know it now will not exist in a, in a couple of decades anymore. The economy of these countries can uh, work better when people have access to, to these things. It's not just about connecting people. Connecting people is important, but you also have to make sure you have the right policies. You have to make sure that as you're connecting people, you're talking about issues like internet freedom. You're talking about issues like security, but not security as a proxy to control content. So all of these things have to go hand in glove. Bringing everyone online is not an easy task. There is needs of a lot of money, a lot of investment in infrastructure building. We need to work uh, with all the neighboring countries to uh, improve, to get access to, the, to those uh, networks. Making this system function well in such a diverse environment is one of the bigger challenges ahead of us. So we have to make sure that we mitigate the problems and at the same time keep working on the solutions. When my neighbor, regardless of where they live in the other 199 or 200 other countries around the world, when they're connected and when they are able to realize their fullest potential, we all benefit.